Dad, can you help me with the factorization problems? I have a test tomorrow at school and I'm not sure whether I'm well prepared. Let me have a look. Hmm. Tanya, no wonder you are not ready for your test. While factorizing, did you test the numbers first? Test the numbers? What test is that? I am talking about tests of divisibility. These are set of rules that tell you if a given number is divisible by another without actually carrying out the division. Let's check out the rules for number 2 through 12. A number is divisible by 2 if its last digit is even. For example, 294 is divisible by 2 because 4 here, which is the last digit, is an even number. On the other hand, 405 is not divisible by 2 as its last digit 5 is an odd number. Any number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is also divisible by 3. Take for instance the number 3276. The sum of its digits is 18, which is clearly divisible by 3, so 3276 is also divisible by 3. For any number to be divisible by 4, you simply check its last two digits. If these are divisible by 4, then the number is also divisible by 4. 42725 for example is not divisible by 4 as its last two digits are not divisible by 4 on the other hand 37164 is divisible by 4 as per this rule the last two digits being 64 for the number 5 the rule merely states that the last digit of the number has to be a 0 or 5 9425 is consequently divisible by 5 just as the number 480 is the last digit is either 0 or 5 the divisibility rule for 6 states that a number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by 2 and divisible by 3 as well in 216 for example the last digit is even and the sum of its digits is 9 so it meets the divisibility rules for both 2 and 3 hence it is divisible by 6 in the divisibility rule for 7 we first take the last digit and double it then we subtract the result from the remaining digits if the result of this is 0 or any number that we know is divisible by 7 then the number passes the test let's see through this example in 413 The last digit is three. We first double that digit to get six. Now we subtract six from the remaining digits of the number. Forty-one minus six is thirty-five, which we know is divisible by seven. So four hundred and thirteen is also divisible by seven. Take another number eighty-four. Doubling the last digit gives us eight, and subtracting it from the remaining digits gives us zero. Hence eighty-four is also divisible by seven. Now let's look at the rule for number 8. Take the last 3 digits of any number and see if it is divisible by 8. If it is, then the entire number is also divisible by 8. For instance, in the number 57136, the last 3 digits are 136, which as you can quickly calculate shows that it is divisible by 8. So the number 57136 is also divisible by 8. The divisibility rule for number 9 is interesting. Here, you keep adding digits recursively and if you get the number 9 itself in the end, the number is divisible by 9. Take this big number 74916 for example. Add all its digits up, you get 27. Now add 2 and 7 to get 9. So 74916 is divisible by 9. The divisibility rule for the number 10 is nothing but a check if the last digit is 0 or not. In 3281, the last digit is not 0, so it is not divisible by 10. However, in 23540, the last digit is 0, so it is divisible by 10. Easy. 
नो बिग डील द रूल फॉर इलेवन इज रिमार्केबल एड ऑल द डिजिट इन दर्ड नंबर प्लेसेस एंड देन एड ऑल द डिजिट इन दवन नंबर प्लेसेस सब्ट्रैक्ट द रिजल्ट If the result is zero or a number that is divisible by eleven, then the entire number is divisible by eleven. Example: seventy-five thousand one fifty-two. The sum of the digits at the odd number places is two plus one plus seven, which is ten. The sum of the digits at the even number places is five plus five, which is also ten. Subtracting these two gives us the result zero. So seventy-five thousand one fifty-two is divisible by eleven. Also, in twenty-one thousand eight twenty-four, the sum of the digits at the odd number places is fourteen, and the even place value digits add up to three. The difference is eleven. So the number twenty-one thousand eight twenty-four is divisible by eleven. The rule for twelve is simply a grouping of the rules for the number three and number four. For example, the number five thousand five hundred and eight is divisible by three because the sum of its digits is eighteen. This number is divisible by four as well because its last two digits are divisible by four. So, since both the rules for three and four are true, the number five thousand five hundred and eight is also divisible by twelve. Great, this is useful. I shall now be able to factorize numbers with ease. and hope to pass the test with flying colors